Also yesterday, lawmakers moved forward on nullifying President Biden's vaccine mandate for larger employers. It wasn't that long ago that it seemed that mainly Republicans opposed the vaccine mandates, but now we've recently had John Tester also publicly opposing the mandate, becoming the second Democrat to do so. With it now becoming more of a reality that the vaccine mandate will be overturned, here is the White House press secretary saying, it doesn't matter, Biden will veto it anyways. John Tester just told uh, NBC News that he plans to support um, the provision to essentially nix the Biden administration's vaccine mandate for big businesses. So he, along with Joe Manchin, what is your response to that, the fact that some Democrats are joining on to that? And should it make its way through the House? It's obviously facing an uphill battle there. Would the president veto that? Well, let me first say that the president has a great relationship with Senator Tester, one with Senator Manchin, uh, and he has always had constructive and open dialogue with both of them. Uh, I think it's important to remind everyone what this OSHA rule is all about. Uh, one, it's based on a 50-year-old law, um, and we are confident in our ability to implement it. It's about not just requiring vaccination, but unvaccinated people to get vaccinated, but the alternative of testing, so testing once a week. And I think our view, and I, the view of many Americans, is that if people aren't vaccinated, having them test once a week is quite reasonable. As we're thinking about how to protect our workplaces, how to protect stores and retail locations as people are out shopping for Christmas and the holidays, how to protect our children in schools and public places. And we also know that more than 100 leading public health experts have endorsed this rule. It's also building on what we've already seen businesses do on their own. 60% of businesses across the country are implementing these requirements because they know they work, they know people will feel confident being in their workplaces, uh, and they know that they will provide a more stable work environment. So we certainly hope uh, the Senate, Congress, will stand up to the anti-vaccine and testing crowd, uh, and we're going to continue to work to implement these. If it comes to the President's desk, he will veto it. And we've got a new variant and cases are rising. President's been clear, we'll use every tool to protect the American people and we hope others will join us in that effort. If you enjoyed the content in today's video, make sure to give it a like and leave a relevant comment below. Thank you so much and I truly hope you have a great rest of your day.